Hello everyone. Welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we have to find derivative of x raised to n by first principle. So yes, we have to consider this f of x is equals to x raised to n, where this n belongs to q, right? Yes, by using this first principle, we can find derivative of this f of x, and it is given by this. Limit h tends to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x upon h. Right. For this, we need this f of x plus h. So from this one, we can find f of x plus h. What we have to do? We have to replace this x by x plus h. So here we have this x plus h raised to n. Right. So yes, we have to put this value here. So we have here this is x plus h raised to n minus this x raised to n upon h, right? Yes. Next, we can check that when we put h is equals to zero, this numerator and denominator get zero. For this, we have to do the simplification. What we have to do here? We have to do the expansion of this x plus h raised to n. Yes, this is a binomial expansion, and we know what is this binomial expansion. We will check that here. When we have this is a plus b raised to n. What is its expansion? Yes, this is a raised to n and c one a raised to n minus one b raised to one. And so on. We have to write down up to n term, right? So yes, last term here. This is a raised to zero, b raised to n. Yes, here we have this is n c zero, right? Yes, we know that what is n c zero. This is n c zero is one, right? Then n c one. This is what. This is n. Then next we have this is n c two. What is this? This is n into n minus one factorial two. Similarly, we can write yes up to n c. And n c n. This is n here. Right. So yes, this is binomial expansion. Yes, we can put here n c zero, n c one up to n c n. All this value here. Now we have to put this binomial expansion in this limit so that we can do the simplification. So here we have Now we can do the simplification. Yes, we can check that here. This x raised to n and this minus x raised to n, this get cancelled. So yes, remaining term here we will write down. And c one, yes, this is as a n, and then this is x raised to n minus one. This is h one, and we will keep all this term. This is as it is. Again, when we put h is equals to zero, yes, we can check that in all the term here we have h, right? That means again, when we put h is equals to zero, this numerator and this denominator get zero, right? That means we have to take this h outside. So here we have this is limit h tends to zero. Yes, when we take h this outside from all this, here we have remaining n into x raised to n minus one. Then this n c two x raised to n minus two here we have h same here we will have x raised to n minus three here we will have h square and last term this is n c n x raised to this n minus one right this is upon h now we can check that here we can Cancel out this h and this h. 
now we can put h is equals to 0 in this term yes in all this term there is a h and yes this is free from h that means this term doesn't get vanished so here we have by putting limit here we have n into x raised to n minus 1 and remaining all this get 0 right so yes we have find f dash of x and what is f of x here yes we have find derivative of this x raised to n and we got this derivative is n into x raised to n minus 1 yes where this n belongs to q right so for any value of this n we can find derivative so here if we take this is x cube so x cube derivative this is we will have this is 3 into this x square right similarly when we have to find derivative of this is x raised to 10 so what is its derivative this is 10 into x raised to 9 right similarly if we have to find the derivative of if we take this is x raised to this is 7 by 2 this is 7 by 2 into x raised to the 7 by 2 minus 1 so yes in this way we have to use this formula yes what is the derivative of x raised to n this is n into x raised to n minus 1 where this n belongs to this rational number in this way we have to find the derivative of x raised to n so yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.